a little behind the scenes look here at the Canadian Space Agency. I wanted to show you our mission control center. So let me just take you in there with me. I didn't want to go in and disturb them because they're actually doing robotic op operations today. But uh, from behind the glass here, you can see we've got our control consoles down at the bottom. In the background, you can see the live feed beaming down from the International Space Station. In fact, uh, in the top left there, I see uh, Thomas Pesquet. Uh, he's working away on board the space station. On the right, we just saw a glimpse of Robonaut uh, and uh, something else floating there in the camera view. I think Peggy Whitson was uh, in that camera. But here at the Canadian Space Agency, we do a lot of our robotics control uh, from the ground. In fact, 90% of all robotic operations are done remotely uh, from the ground. And about 50% of those are done here, right here at the Canadian Space Agency. And uh, the reason we do that is uh, we want to use all of the astronaut time in space that we can for, for science and learning. And by doing the robotic operations from the ground, we can free up a lot more astronaut time. So this is really great. We do a lot of very complex robotic operations uh, from right here. In fact, everything that has to do with Dexter, our two-armed robot, is, is done from here as well. Really complex things like uh, walk or moving up, not walking, but moving up uh, with a cannon arm to a location where we have a failed item outside the space station, being able to undo the bolts from a box, remove that box, store it, get a new box um, with components in it, and then install it. Uh, we've been doing a lot of that with our batteries lately on the International Space Station. So when you pull your uh, $5 bill and you see cannon arm, what you don't see is the enormous team of people behind the scenes that make space exploration a reality. And a lot of that team, a good portion of that team is right here at the Canadian Space Agency.